So what's the best iPad for ZBrush? I just upgraded from the iPad Air 5th generation that I bought in 2020 to the new iPad Pro 13 inch with the M4 chip. First off, you don't need the latest iPad to run ZBrush on an iPad. I was running very effectively on my iPad from 2020. I made a dragon that had like 8 million points. I also made an ax called the Arcanite Ripper that had like 25 million points when I was sculpting in some of my primary details. Throughout the entire experience, there was pretty much no slowdown, no issues working with really highly dense meshes on the iPad. There's a few reasons why I decided to upgrade, but again, you shouldn't need to. The first is the larger screen. It's just nice to have a bigger screen to sculpt things and have access to all of your buttons. I also got the one terabyte version, but that extra performance boost is not something I'm really gonna take advantage of because I make a lot of low poly assets and game assets. I'm not doing a whole lot of 3D print preparation or high frequency detail on my meshes. So I don't really need that extra performance boost. And for most people, you won't need it either. To be completely honest, some of the biggest reasons why I did get the new iPad is it does have the new fancy pen that has all the twist and pressure functions. And it also has hover state. So whenever I hover my pen over the screen, it shows that. So when I make tutorials, it's gonna be a lot easier for people on the internet to see what I'm doing. Regardless of me having the latest iPad or using my old one, I do prefer using ZBrush on the iPad because of portability. I could have purchased a big screen display to use for my desktop at home, but there are some mental health things that I'm working on, such as trying to kick my phone habit. With the iPad, I can pretty much sculpt anywhere. I've done it in the airport, I've done it in coffee shops, and whenever I feel the urge to pull out my phone and start scrolling mindlessly, I instead choose the iPad because it's a lot easier to get locked in on some cool art versus, oh, there's another dog video and another random anxiety inducing social media video that I probably shouldn't watch. So if you're thinking about getting an iPad, getting an iPad that was made after 2020 of any size can probably, and I can say with confidence, will run ZBrush for the iPad very effectively with pretty much no issues. If you have the budget, sure, get the big one. But if you just wanna try out sculpting, getting a used one will probably be perfectly fine for just playing around and sculpting stuff. At the end of the day, my biggest motto when it comes to making art or doing hard things like even fitness is reducing resistance. So if you can find a device that helps you feel more inspired to make the thing, you should get it. So then you can reduce the resistance that is necessary to actually go make stuff. That being said, thanks for watching. One gram of protein per pound of body weight. Goodbye, my friends. Bye.